Bonjour and welcome to French Detours. I'm Tracy Parent, your guide to the regional specialties and hidden gems of France. My detours have been more virtual lately, but I'm having a great time connecting with French business owners on this side of the Atlantic. A few years ago, I discovered the most charming boutique called Maison en Provence in San Diego. Today we're here with owner Marielle. Bonjour Marielle. Bonjour Tracy et bienvenue chez Maison Provence in San Diego. It's just one of my happy places. I can always find so many beautiful things there. So I'm just delighted to look over your shoulder at all of your new uh, fabulous things. <laughs> so when was it that you opened the boutique? So my husband and I, Pascal and I, have opened the shop in April of 1996. 96, so, wow. Believe it or not, it's been 24 years, yes. Oh, congratulations. That is a great accomplishment. So what inspired this project? So we came to San Diego for the first time in 92. And we totally fell in love with the city and the California lifestyle. Um, at the time, Pascal was a photographer doing fashion photography. And it was not good. The economy was not good. So he started doing more catalogs, products. Things were made in Provence and uh, the idea started to come that maybe we could open a shop and share all those beautiful craftsmanship and products from the south of France with people here in California. And we did it. Well, I know you have a wide variety of products. Can you tell us, kind of walk us through some of the departments of your, of your shop? So, you know, from day one, we wanted to be French in the concept, but we didn't want to be a French cliche. You know, we wanted to have a shop where French people would love to shop as well. Uh, it had to have a French identity, but it had to stay tasteful. I mean, we need a little Eiffel Tower, a little cicada <laughs> here and there, but, you know, we needed to stay, you know, classy with great uh, quality to back it up. So we, we started with just being home, garden, and antiques at the very beginning. Uh, but the shop has evolved over the years in um, smaller item because we can ship them easily and they're easier to gift. Um, so we have now, you know, more women accessories, scarves, jewelry that a friend of mine, you know, makes uh, small, like little... Uh, kitchen accessories that are fun to give, you know, I actually did a video for those little crepe uh, shaker batter. Um, we transformed the antique um, room that we had into a children's corner. Uh, we still have the soaps and the lotion. We have now all the perfumes from Fragonard. Mm -hmm. uh, and we wanted something that, you know, people could find something for everybody. Mm -hmm. That was our goal. So I think that now it has become more of a gift boutique than a home, you know, furnishing and interior design boutique, but it's working well for us this way. Yes. So what are some of your favorite products and some of your customer favorite products? So we select everything here, you know, personally. And we stand by absolutely every product that we carry. We're very picky in our selection. <laughs> I mean, we're French, you know, what can I say? You know? <laughs> yes. But um, I think that the quality is very, very important for us. Mm -hmm. So whatever we put in the shop, we taste it, we eat the food, we use the product. If we don't like it, it never comes on the shelf. That being said, uh, there is one product that we've been carrying since day one, and it's the old-fashioned Savon de Marseille mm. in all its forms. So we have it, of course, in the bar, but we also have the liquid version in like 15 different scent or unscented in the refill, you know, or pump. Mm -hmm. And this is a product that we've been using every day that all clients have got educated to and now absolutely love and always come back for. It's one of the, yeah, top setup for us. And especially right now <laughs> that we have to wash our hands nonstop. Uh, it's been definitely one of the things we sold, you know, uh, during this time. 
Yes, if you're going to wash your hands a lot, you might as well wash them with lovely French scented soaps. I do love that brand a lot and use them all the time. So It doesn't dry your hands. No, you know, no. It does not dry your hands. You can use it all day long. It just makes your hand, you know, feels better. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to see your nice new selection of scarves for the new season when they come out. So mm -hmm. how often have you, do you go back to France and, and shop for new things or just to go back to see family or... So we go back every year. Uh, my mother is still there. She turned 90 in January. Mm -hmm. Pascal's family is still there. So we, we definitely go back every year. And we also always hunt and search for that little special thing that will keep our shop unique. So we always definitely, you know, go back. So during confinement, it's a little bit tricky, but you've kind of found a way to help people still do some shopping and retail therapy. Could you tell us about that? It's definitely been a challenge since we don't have a shopping cart, you know, website that is working anymore. We used to, but we found that it was very complicated with the large selection that we have. Mm -hmm. So we still have a platform that is kind of a blog slash website, works like a website, but you cannot buy there. It's called everythingprovence.com easy to you know say even for me <laughs> everythingprovence.com people can get can get it mm -hmm. and you have links to our facebook our instagram you can contact me via email also from there and there's tab on the top that you can see different selections of product um, and i've been doing more like a personalized shopping experience with client they contact me they say, you know, I would like to send a gift, you know, to this person or this person. I would like to spend about this much. She likes this. This is her personality. So I, I do like a more personal, you know, selection, mm -hmm. send them photos and we go from there. And we've been doing curbside uh, pickup for the locals, actually mm -hmm. local delivery for free also. Oh, lovely. People who know, you know, that I want my soap, I would like my cookies, my lavender honey. Mm -hmm. And then the other, you know, option is to ship. So we've been also doing some care, you know, package shipping mm -hmm. a little bit everywhere. And my cell phone has been our lifeline also <laughs> during that time. So it's 619. 518-0401 and people can text me anytime and I can get it and send photo and we can move pretty well this way. So we're working on, you know, new ways mm -hmm. and it, it's more personal. Yes. You know, well, I noticed even the first time I came into your shop, you are very, that is one of the luxuries about coming into your shop. You know, all of your items very very well like you say you use them you approve them and you really take the time not everybody understands um you know, a lot of french products are a little bit exotic in some ways and so you really do yes. always help the person find their their what petit want. bonheur yeah so i i actually found that i really enjoyed this way of working with my <laughs> clients because they come to buy you know a special gift for someone Mm -hmm. And, you know, they, they have an idea of, you know, the personality of the person. They know the person they want to give it to, but they might not know the product. Mm -hmm. So if they give me, you know, the information about the person and the kind of product that she would like, oh, nothing for the house, something more for herself. And she's very feminine. And, you know, if I have some information, I know my product and I can really put something together. I think that would really please that person so it's so far i think we we've, we've been working out oh, great Staying alive. it's nice to find the silver lining in confinement yes <laughs> yeah so the silver lining in this confinement uh to me i mean it's like not just the virus is contagious it's kindness is also contagious and we knew you know when we started our shop here that people were very very kind in california um, the day we opened our shop, people were coming in with gifts, champagne, wine, you know, food. I mean, it was, you know, really wonderful to us. And in this time, we feel like people are really supporting us and supporting each other is very important and everybody's kind to each other. So 
that has been a very a highlight, I think, of this weird dark time. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to coming back and perusing all of your shelves. I never seem to have enough time. I have to come by myself with nobody waiting in the car so I can take as long as I'd like. Uh, but until then, I will simply shop online like everyone else and we will put all of your information uh, so that everybody has it for shopping. So thank you so much. Thank you, thank you Tracy. Thank you for having me. And uh, We'll see you in person soon, I hope. Yes, à bientôt. Merci. Au revoir. Au revoir.